009, you already know what's, what's popping. 009, Gemini yes, Scorpio Podcast sir. Gang. Team Gemini over here because Scorpios is fucking Team Sco- Scorpio over here because fuck. Gemini is steady hating. Ge- Yo, hating as Scorpios, Gemini's. Gemini's never hate. No Gemini you ever know ever hate. Nah, y'all not haters, but y'all are way too opinionated on so? things that you don't need to opinion and the, in. Most opinion loyal. never required or desired. No, nah, because we, we we expect and more. you're not most loyal. Scorpios are definitely most loyal. Scorpios ain't loyal. Y'all What's most delusional. Says who? Says me, motherfucker. The delusional you of them all. be making up shit all the time. She be oh, making up. You see how he came in ready to attack me? Like, what's going hey, on with you? Gemini Scorpio podcast. Let's get straight to the shit. Uh, Bel Air. Shout out to our Bel Air plug. Um, yeah. Shout out to our fake ass Bel Air plug because the nigga said y'all can do two twice a month, bro. Twice a month? That's like two episodes, but. Thank That's you. cool. Half and half. I like yeah. it. Yeah. So we're going to pour up? So next episode might be some cheap champagne, y'all. Don't judge us. No. Uh, we only drinking Bel Air for this for, the, for now, right? Because they give right, it to fair, 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 They need fair. to cut the check, but we're going to take Damn. the- Damn. Yeah. That's pour not up. even a mimosa. That's a fucking champagne. I ain't put an orange juice in there yet. Hey, y'all. Damn. Episode 009, the Gemini Scorpio pod. That's another thing yeah. about Scorpios. What? Bro, like, they be make delusional, yeah. So I just, they, like, delusional, perfect. So before I can finish, it's not a mimosa. What goes into a mimosa, everybody? Champagne and then orange juice. My man is damn near filling the whole cup. That's why God, I said that. Look at damn. you just always jumping again, putting your two cents into places it don't need. Give and me a then, little more orange juice than you gave you. Thank you. And then what'll happen is, like, before I get a chance to say I love her, she'll be like, you ain't even tell me you love me. I'm like, my nigga, I was about to say this shit. Like, shit. Because these niggas move slow as shit. Move quicker, nigga. Fuck. I'm tired of waiting forever for you to say one thing. Gemini's take mad long because they're so fucking indecisive. You wait for them to answer. You're sitting there like, hello, speed it up. Like, come on. Uh, Shut the fuck up. S- say you love me. Shut the fuck up. Say you love me. <laughs> Stop here, Erky. You ain't even cheers me. See? Just the fuck That's up. what I mean, right? Instead you wasn't about to cheers of, me. You, of, you see him drink first. He didn't No facts. Me. No, you're right. But instead of saying, babe, let's cheers, you ain't even cheers me. They because point fingers fucking, all the fucking time. He should have thought on. about me. They're not considerate. Think to cheers me. Come on. Cheers. I thought to cheers you. But you ain't say let's cheers, babe. Because you, you sipped it first. You didn't even wait for our... All you do is complain, complain, complain. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right. Cheers, babe. I love you. To the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Zero, zero, nine. To Scorpios. <laughs> to the Gemini Scorpio pie. Where we at with it? Where we at? Go ahead. Wow, he just gonna point it to me. So today I felt like going into our, you know, for my topic, we just gonna get straight into it. I got the gang verse bay. So you already know you got your friends, I got my friends. We're gonna you, be friends to the weekend. I forgot the next part. It's your freaking. <laughs> I just made that up. He made that up because that's not even a song I ever heard. So long story short, my thing is the gang versus Bay. So, what do you do? Like, are 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 you on Bay's side or are you on the gang side? I'm on Bay's side all the way. Okay. 100%. Okay. And that's what that's what fucked me up. We was having this conversation during the week, and Shadi swear, like Shadi will part friends before me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Shut it! Like you just lied on camera. I didn't just lie. That's the other thing about Gemini's. They liars. Gem- I'm a liar. Liar. Gemma liars. I'm a liar. Gemma liars. I'm a liar. Gemma I'm a liar. A whole Gemma lie. So I'm a liar. I've never lied ever. <laughs> they tweak the truth. I keep it a hundred with you all the time. You just can't and handle they, the truth. They you leave cry, out baby. the le- they leave out the truth. So when the fuck did I pick my friends over you? All right, yo. So she'll be like. Matter of fact, me and one of her friends had an argument, right? Jay's always arguing with my friends. Let's always, just so go I'm always there. Arguing with your friends? <laughs> I'm always arguing with your he's friends. He's not always arguing with my friend, but he's always trolling my friends. I troll everybody. My bad that you got a bunch of like girls. Go ahead. What are we sensitive <laughs> girls? I'm sorry. Oh, my bad that boo, I have boo, a whole boo. bunch of girlfriends because I'm a girl. <laughs> sorry. My- Girlfriend. He's been singing to everything <laughs> the last couple days. And honestly, My girl. this nigga is, has taken karaoke too far. He sings to everything. It's, enough is enough. Shut the fuck up. up. <laughs> Shit. All right, all right, all right. So, um, uh, what was the question again? 
No, you, there was no question. You was like, you was telling a story how I supposed oh, to yeah, so pick my and, friends over you. So me and her homegirl getting a little debacle. I got that from her, right? So <laughs> I'm really just trying to encourage her friend to be better. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I think that's one of the things that Gemini's do. We always want to push you forward, make you, just make you a better person, right? Shit, so granted, I might have went about it the wrong way. She got a little sensitive. She took it as me trying to embarrass her or, uh, I don't know, um, just shit on her in front of people, right? When I'm like, we're we amongst family, we're amongst friends, it ain't nothing not like that. I'm just trying to motivate you. So she took it like that. Make a long story short, we got in an argument, da da da, things went left. Me and Shadi talked about it th that night, and uh, I was telling Shadi what I meant or whatever. So Shadi, like, all right, better, I'm gonna talk to her. So I'm like, cool. So the next day come around and I want to go talk to my homies, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just try to like clear some things out, you know what I'm saying? Just see how I should go about it. So I come back and her and her friend, like they together and I'm like, yo, I apologize or whatever. And like her friends just wasn't trying to hear it. And at that moment, that's when I was like, you know what? Bet. Cool. I lost. He I already said, tweaked the truth right just I now. I didn't tweak the truth. I just, just What? I didn't. Go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. Right. So I'm trying to have respect for both parties. That's so I, I left the things that weren't that important out. And I just talking about like when we a part of the debacle. Okay. I mean, because I said we got into a debacle. I mean, I could say everything, but I just didn't want to. Okay. So basically, all right. You so I. You starting on your best bullshit. This about to go left in five, so, four. All right. So basically, I'm like, um, man, y'all niggas get dipped or whatever. That's what you talking about? Is that I no. All right, all right, bet. Anyway, so so yeah, we it, it went. It escalated real quick. Because things with Jade a, normally escalate. See, again, she ain't talking about her friend though, but with James, with things with Jade, cool, perfect is. Thank you. I'm glad we on camera. So anyway. The fact that she's like, because things with Jay escalates it was quickly. A I can't joke with you on the podcast now. You being awfully sensitive. That's crazy. That's crazy. No, I'm just, no, 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 no. I'm just proving my point. Anyway, so. Z always point to So, point. yeah. So the next day, so I apologize. And I'm thinking, I right, bet she will at least understand my side because my girl explained it to her because she don't know because, of course, she took it personal again, which I'm not mad at because I, I didn't have the, the right, the best approach understandable right especially in the time and the setting perfect i know i was just trying to motivate her to do better whatever i'm like yo look you lit da 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 but this part ain't lit da da she's like you trying to embarrass me all right cool respect so the next day i want to go apologize and i didn't think i had to explain myself because why my girl explained me for me no and i'm just like at that point i'm like that ain't your friend like that's your girl's friend it don't matter like so i'm just like all right bet but that's one of the examples of and Charlie not having my back and my my best not best. So that's when I supposedly chose the gang versus Bay. Yeah. All right. So first of all, Jay cut the shit, bro. Cut the shit because yes, Jay and my friend got into a debacle in our house, and that's not the part I was even talking about. The part was I told Jay where I thought he went wrong yeah. as well as both sides, right. right? When I went and talked to my friend, I also told her where you were coming from. If she chose to not agree with that that is on her that's not on me if she didn't agree with that that's on her you and told you, you told me no i never told you that i told you i told, told on all rounds uh, uh, of what uh, oh sorry <laughs> love <cool>. you <laughs> she watching that's my dog she know what's up right, long cool. story short is i also told jay a, a lot of parts that i felt like i didn't like as well as well so like when you're like you went over there you didn't explain no i went over there to get you guys to be able to talk that was my duty because what happened also again people have to understand is first of all i could have took it offensive from both sides because you shouldn't be arguing with my friend and she shouldn't be arguing with my man y'all should have talked to me and let me medium they decided to do their own thing together i was sitting there we're drinking when it's i thought it was jokes at first and then it started going left and then i was just a little in shock like whoa 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 what's going on so to say that i picked my friend over you i didn't to say that i picked my man on my friend i didn't what i try to do because they are both my family i try to let them voice their concerns to each other now if one doesn't didn't want to accept it in one way and the other wanted to that that part you know y'all don't have to be friends like you know all that to bring me into what but i was going to say in the first place we got to understand that Bay friends ain't my friends. And right. that is it. Yo niggas ain't my niggas for real and either. All because also, I feel like Jay's friends are way too opinionated on 
just my friends don't even give a fuck it, okay you say that as well but again so a lot of this comes from a couple things right so one jay arguing with my friend to another another thing i put under the gang versus bay thing jay arguing with my friend again what a lot of things listen so I just but, want to okay so out. no this is why i'm gonna point as it always out. things no, go left la, with jay no, i'm gonna tell jay you why i'm friend. gonna tell you why because as we talked about in 007 008 of the whole jay wanting to motivate you thing and jay not doing it in a way so that, that is also okay so, time so, out time out time out i let you talk i didn't interrupt i let you talk just relax okay slow down on your mimosa let's not get too rowdy what? so what i was saying was we you've seen in previous episodes where I'm saying like Jay wants me to change things that he like, but he does not approach it to me the best way for me to even want to do that. Right. right. So this is who Jay is. So when he's doing it to somebody who doesn't have to give a fuck about what he has to say, let alone I'm his girl, he can voice how he feels about me and we hash it out. But people who you're not in those relations with and you think it's okay for you to do, people do not have to take heed to it in that way. Cause let me tell you something. My man can tell me one thing and we could hash it out but if your friend came and told me i'm like first of all who the fuck are you talking to so from there yes i can understand that because you're not nothing to her in that way again going into bay friends is not your sis that's not i don't call none of jay line brothers my bros because at the end of the day them niggas not my blood and they're not my bros there's my they're my boyfriend's friend I'm not they are that. not nothing to oh. me in that way even if we are cordial and friends on your behalf but again if we were to split today we would probably all unfollow each other and carry on with our lives. That's what it is. So if they came to me on anything personal to me, I would be very offended because who are you talking to? All right. So I can't, is it okay for me to speak? You sure can. All right. All that shit ain't had shit to do with what I was talking about. How Nothing. not? Because my whole point was how you was perceiving me or talking about me who was in the public. Who was talking? What are we talking about? Shade. My whole point was you're like, the only thing I ever was saying was, as things always do with Jay. Okay. The way, how you're putting it, how how you're putting it to the world. You're not saying, you know, Jay always trying to like motivate people, and sometimes people take it wrong. You're like, yeah, Jay arguing my friends as okay. he always do, or um, <laughs> Jay is is is, is going left okay. as they always do with Jay. So it's like, all right, I baby, I apologize. You don't have to apologize because okay. right, this is what like, you do unconsciously. So okay. it shows me what you really think of me. But that's how I feel like you do those things unconsciously. No, my that story you keep doing, literally, which is why I am also able to say that. So this is what I will say, I right? I do like. First of all, it's not the first time he's gotten into a misunderstanding. She told me, shut the fuck up. Okay, first of all, this is my topic. This is my topic. Like, we like, both talking about it. All right, but this is my topic. I didn't even get to go into my topic fully because you went into telling the story about you and my friend and where this my topic came from how That's it came from you but my topic didn't come from that scenario my topic actually came from how i felt about your friends you went into how i felt your, about all right but this is my topic so i was going right, first I'm, 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 like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna move my mic and let you just talk thank you Ooh, this, this won't be your podcast with, with Hillary. you want to give me both mics because i'll talk in both of them you feel what i'm saying have fun, have fun. all right thank you this mic is heavy too go ahead come on you about to knock over my mouth so you gotta relax so oh yeah shit yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah, because, you, you know, you're doing too much. Shut the Go. fuck up. All right, babe. Talk that's, about that's your time. A, that's, that's the name of the episode. Shut the up. Everybody shut up. All right, so all that to say, again, so I apologize if you took it that way. The first one I already notated, that was a joke. I was saying when I was like, because Jay always, whatever, right? Now, what I will say is, of course, to a certain degree because we have already agreed that this is something you do unconsciously or consciously that even I get offended with it. So of course I can relate to that. So of course, because that is something we're still growing through and growing through and going through, then of course I can speak on that because that is one of my dislikes that I don't like about you. We know that though, we've talked about that. That's not nothing brand new. So it's not me subconsciously or unsubconsciously saying it, it's something that I truly feel. So it's not to offend you, but we know this, like it's not So if you truly like feel that, what's the point of apologizing? Cause you're saying, you apologize my bad, I didn't mean, you literally no, I just said apologized. For the first one, for the first one, I said the first one, I was just joking. That's, but that that's one, how you really feel, so you're no, not a but, joke. But, okay. The, my point is, when I'm saying it in these terms, when we're, we're talking, it was a joke, and I didn't mean it in that way. But we do agree that that is something that you do. It's so not if that. You, so if me, we a, agree, me apologizing if we or agree. making a joke out of it is not me saying that I don't feel that way. I can make a joke about it and apologize for making the joke because it's not, you know what I mean? I didn't have to joke, but does that mean that I don't feel but that way? No. What I'm saying is, if you're saying, as he always do, 
and you feel that way, then you saying, as we always do, is not a joke. It is a joke, because obviously you don't always do it, but do you do it sometimes and I don't right, like right. it? Yes, I do. That, right. Yes, that is, a, that is a certain. All right, finish with your topic. Right. I, so can I get my opinion on your topic or no? Yeah, stop. All right. So, boom, long story short, going into, again, Bay friends ain't your friends. I don't think it should be Bay versus the gang because I think there's going to be times in different circumstances where you'll have to mend both sides and be on all, both parties. I don't think, just like, for example, I don't be think... you both parties? I don't think you'll choose me over your My nigga, my I chose you when, over my friends. Are when? One, two, three, when, four, five, six, when, seven, that's eight. That's a lie. Friends that's that a I ain't lie. got. That's a lie. That's a lie. Yo, that's a I lie. have a few friends that I'm not cool with. Oh, not a few. As, I have a few friends that I'm because not because you fucked them. Oh my god! Come on, have we talked about it? All right, okay, it? all right. It ain't, it ain't no, it ain't no. All right, it, it ain't no clean slated. I'm not it's talking not. about no friendships that don't yeah. have no previous ties. Yeah, I, if listen, we talking listen, about that, but yeah. like, if you're gonna bring that up, we gotta be we honest get, about we get, it. We can be like, honest. All right, but it's not like un, when I'm talking about friends, I'm talking about like, for example, I never had no relations with your line brothers. You ain't never had no relations with my girls. So these are these are the friendships I'm talking about. When you talk about the other ones that had got tangled up in your I, masses no, of. Shade, issues shade. of previous feelings shade. now we have shade. a different shade. problem shade. no shut shade. okay shut no that's not true what i'm saying my is... friend no matter what you look at a friend to you we got an acceptance well, like we talked about zero zero eight right my friend is my friend no matter what it comes with okay. no matter but no, when it interferes can i with... finish right because oh, you are because once you talk ahead. you let me finish all right so look my friend is my friend no matter how no matter what you think mm -hmm. about it no matter what our history had mm -hmm. who i call my friend is my mm -hmm. friend right mm -hmm. so if I have a friend, if we did something in the past or not, if I call that my friend, mm -hmm. you supposed to accept that. Okay. But again, so, can, are we dialoguing? Or I'm trying you... to finish okay, my finish, whole finish. point. My so, bad. My bad. so bad. if I call somebody my friend, but you have a problem with them, with them because of something that happened in the past, one. Is it the past? Oh, my bad. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. It don't be stuff that happens in the past. It be stuff that happening during the relationship that triggers back to y'all past. That will be what right, the so situation is. So about... that's what I'm talking about if we talking about it. But I ain't never had nobody problem with something in the past that I just be bringing up to make a current relevance. No, it be stuff that happens to due to y'all past, which is the problem. But, you know, neither here nor there. My whole thing, before we get lost in translation, yeah, my please. whole thing was, it's friends that I have had that I've slowed down on because of a respect thing for Bay. So when it says the gang versus Bay, I don't think that's a that that's not that's not a, a topic to me because it is no the gang versus the Bay. For example, me and me and Sosa <clears throat> was talking, right? And he said if you had a family member that didn't like your girl and you had to choose between one or two, who would you choose from? We could call Sosa right now I and I'm gonna see if I get him on the line. And, he, and I told him, I said, I'm gonna choose my girl. Now why? Because at the end of the day, you're my family, you're my friend. And if I call you a friend, you're my family. So for that, you're in a lifetime. My girlfriend is my girlfriend, hopefully for a lifetime. But we know in this, in this society, things don't always go as we want it to be. So if things was to ever go left, my family, you can chill out and you can love me and support me from afar in a distance. But me and my girl, that's we got to... In the Bible, it says you put your wife before your moms. You, like, that's your family. You put your wife before your moms once that time comes, right? So... At that point, to get back to what I'm saying, my girl always come first, though. My, my girl is always going to come first. So if it ever happens something to do with my family, my girl, I'm choose my girl because as my family, you should understand, just like I will understand. And if anything goes left with my family, I can always, we can always have each other because we're, we're always going to have each other. That's my point when it says the gang okay. versus bay. So my point in front is gang versus bay. Gang versus bay is not that. So I do agree with everything you said. But you don't I, act like no, it. No, okay. I, I do agree with everything you said. But for example, this is one thing for me, right? Jay invites me out to go. So him and his line brothers went out. They went out. Cool. Do your thing, right? He invites me and my girl to come, right? I guess he didn't run that by the gang, right? So when I get there, I swear every one of his line brothers as one on one asks him, like, what are you doing here? You just right? take it personal. But no, I don't care if I take it personal. Anywhere I am that my man invited me to, don't ask me why I'm here. It Period. Wasn't like why are you, you don't here? Have You're that, not supposed to be here. It's no, like no, oh, no, 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 be no. Because none of their girls or people they were dealing with was there, and they kept asking why I was there. You may not take offense to that, but me personally, 
Don't ask me why I'm anywhere my man is because clearly he invited me or I would not have the address to be here. It's so why not like that. It doesn't but when one of, when they're doing it in unison back to back to back to back, it clearly can look like that. Yes. Whether okay, it's respect. not that or not. Respect. So when I walk in and I'm there and the first thing I'm getting and then the next one, what are you doing here? And the next one, what are you doing there? It's like, yo, I said to Jazz, I said, should I leave? Because I'm not trying to impose. I never asked to come. You invited me. I could have kicked it with my girl. So I think that's what I'm talking about, the gang versus event. What do you do when you feel like your friends are are overstepping their boundaries fair uh when your friends are overstepping that boundaries yeah, that's what i mean by the gang versus bay i ain't you, talking about who you pick like obviously it, i'm always gonna but, pick my man i mean no but, you, we can rewind but, the take you literally just said sometimes i'm gonna side with the gang but i'm talking about this like for example you're not about to not be friends with your friends because they asked why i was here no you're gonna be like y'all like what not like now i'm gonna get whatever. this shit right right right, right exactly. i'm gonna go to my friends right, and be but like, if Yo. They, right but if they say well i just you know what i'm saying you're gonna be like all right fair enough like you're going to be considerate to both sides and you're gonna talk to mend it for both sides yeah that's what I said I never said I'm a, like I was like there's going to be circumstances circumstances where you do have to mend both parties that's what I said please go rewind that I thought you said exactly. what I heard was sometimes yeah, you heard what you wanted to hear you said you sometimes did. I'm gonna go with the gang or sometimes I'm gonna go with Bay. and for me I'm always going to go with Bay. yeah but I don't so for example I'm the what I'm talking about is minuscule things in a way that for example even I don't know even in joking terms like if 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 your friend I don't know has something to say about your girl, what is what is that? I lost. You lost what? I'm just I, I lost the bat. Look, like, you so battle? much to be so I'm, no, ready. No, I'm asking. You putting I'm up joking, L's, nigga. Babe, niggas do L's. I lost. Loser. I don't know what the fuck that means. I'm asking you mid show. I lost. You ain't lose. You 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 look. It's just a conversation. Again, what do you do when? Bay has a problem with your friend, or your friend has a problem with Bay. What do that, you do? that would I'm asking you. All right, I'm asking you. What? So I let me tell so, you. So because uh, the whole point was to educate. When, when Bay, that. so that's and I I right. started to go there from my experiences, but again, my experiences wasn't good enough or legitimate Easy. enough to bring up because mm -hmm. my experiences, through my experiences, from how I see it, Bay it has been Bay versus the gang, and it's always been Bay. Like to me, those are minuscule problems. Like somebody might say something again to me. What? Like to your me, friend commenting on your dick in your pants is not <laughs> somebody just saying something. So sorry. all right, so sorry, since, sorry, so, sorry, since, sorry, so sorry. since we having that conversation, I'm right? I'm just saying. I'm just so, saying. I'm so, just saying. So again, before our relationship, right? It's things that we have fun. Pop, time out. Charlemagne and Envy. The shit is gay as shit. I don't condone it, but they talk about each other shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like that ain't okay. But that when, ain't you saying met, when you and your line brothers joking about child, well, y'all know right. that's that. But when your female friend, come on, son. so like, what I'm let's saying not, is, like so, you love double standards until it's time to face them. Right. I swear to all God. All right. So what I'm saying is, I already, I, I already put the 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 expectation that I look at all my friends the same, right? So before me and you, and what I can own up to is maybe I've already had. I've already crossed the, those boundaries before I met my girlfriend. So I can't change our friendship. If we talk about things like that and there's no harm, no foul, we're going to talk about things like that if you're here or not because that's just what we're used to talking about. Mm -hmm. So if somebody like, yo, Jay, why the fuck is short so so small? We can see your, your shit is, you know what I'm saying? Like, because we already had that relationship, we, are, we already had that friendship, to us, it's, it's no harm, no foul, because that's our friendship. That but wasn't then, how the conversation but, went, though. But, again, okay. Again, it was something like that. It was something other names of, it like... It didn't go like that. It was like, yo, I can see his his uh, his, his dick doors, th them little ass shorts. It was, it was just like that. And so, again, I'm not going to take away from you not liking it. I'm not going to take away from that being out of the norm. I'm not going to take away from that being crossing the boundaries. I won't take away from that at all. However, just like I can be transparent and understand, I'm hoping you can be. But you couldn't be and it's understood it's understood because that's just something you didn't fuck with. So again, we already had that friendship. Those are things we already talked about. So when it when it was said, I knew it wasn't on no no real sexual trying to like get at me type shit. But again, and I told you that. I told you that because I, it was a conversation we was having and maybe I maybe as a man is things that and that could be another topic for the next time. But like maybe we was having a conversation about like things we might not tell each other, like because it ain't that serious. And I brought that to you. I didn't have to bring that to you. So I, the fact that I brought that to you, being my friend, things that we think we could talk about anything. And you told me that was wrong. I tried to explain that it wasn't to me. And again, so you said it was crossing the line to get back to the point. You, you said it was crossing the line. You ain't fuck with that. Sounds like selective honesty to me. No, it's not selective. We was talk. We was having an honest conversation about things we you might just not said think. I didn't have to tell you that. That's selective honesty. No, 
All right. If that's that, what, I'm not going to take it that way. If that's what you think, respect. What I'm saying is our conversation was on selective honesty. Our conversation was it might be things that you don't think are as serious to tell you. So me being transparent, I'm like, oh, well, something like that I might not think is that serious as this. So me, I'm being honest. I'm like, this is something that I might not have brought up because it was like, it's no point of bringing it up because it really is not going to do nothing but be in a negative way, which showed. So I brought it up thinking we could talk about it and it went in the exact direction that I knew. So again, because you don't like that and you think that's crossing boundaries. That inappropriate. Again, respect. I'm not taking that away from you. But because you thought that was crossing the boundaries, I did not. Me and that friend don't have the same relationship. So when you talk about when is the time, that's my experience. We don't have the same relationship because of respect for my girl. And, it was and broken. Again, I don't, I didn't deem it was, it was broken because that's my, we been had that friendship. Mm -hmm. So to me, it wasn't. So, so. So try to make this clear, right? Not, you know, we, you know, because I didn't think it was it was broken. So we got to wrap up. All right, topic. because I didn't we got because I didn't think it was broken, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't have to I didn't have to change my relationship with that, that my ties with with, with that friend because mm -hmm. I didn't think it was respect it was mm -hmm. broken. Mm -hmm. But for respect of my girlfriend, mm -hmm. I fell back because it just it just wasn't a point to you know what I'm saying to keep having a, a back and forth between my girl and a friend mm -hmm. that who I think if she's really a friend is going to be my friend regardless. So, what about you? What about me? A time that the same question you asked me. About what? You asked me, what is the time? Well, I said, what do you do when your friend has a problem with your girl, what do your, you do? your girl, your, your significant other, or if your significant other has a problem with your. What do you do? Well, I'm, you know, I try to be more, you know. So, honestly, we really haven't had this issue because none of my friends really have an issue with Jay. And Jay doesn't have a real issue with any of my friends. If it has been misunderstandings on like support, non-support, like how we said the previous situation went, but I've never really been in the situation where again, you know, but I also feel like the as the middleman, I feel like you have to be able to guide both ships. Like for example, like, you know, again, like I said, I could have been offended because y'all were arguing in the first place, right? Because I feel like there's never a time where my man should be arguing with my friend or my friend should be arguing with my man because I'm mm -hmm. the middle party, right? And out of respect for me, people shouldn't be talking around me in the first place. That's just how I view it, though. I so just, we shouldn't be talking at all. Like I feel, No, I feel like y'all can talk, but the minute it gets personal, then nobody, sh you pull me to the side so I can immediate the situation. Yes, I do agree what with that. What type of movie is that? It's not a movie. That's how I agree. Like, for example, it's no different than if two of my friends have a problem with each other, right? Neither one of my friends, if I have friends that don't like each other, right? Mm -hmm. Neither one of them are allowed to talk to bad about the other friend in front of me. And also, if we, like, say, if they're at my house and we're in a situation, y'all are not allowed to sit there and have any personal feeling conversation. If y'all have a problem, we all sit into the side and we could talk about it. But y'all are not to do that because it does disrespect me as the middle party because y'all both my friends. So that's how I feel. With that example, right? Yeah. If you have a friend that has an issue with another friend, why yeah. would you put them in, under the same roof? Because for example, they, uh, for example, I have two very close friends that don't do well with each other at mm -hmm. all. But on my birthday, I'm not going to not invite the other, Facts. one or the other. They're, right. they're both my close friends, and we're celebrating me. Like, if y'all have an, a problem with each other, first of all, we're adults enough to be able to be cordial in one room. Y'all shouldn't have any issues. Now, if we are in the same room and there is something that happens where you feel you like them one, one, for you to one, tell right, one cut your eye or whatever, you can pull me to the side like, yo, I ain't really feeling that, whatever, whatever, and let me go, yo, what's going on? Like, don't Respect. go start arguing in my, um, you know, in my presence, and don't start throwing jabs at each other. Don't do that because. Now you're disrespecting me. Respect. So I run all my relationships like that. So all of them. Back to the question: What do you do? When I'm, the, but this is what I'm saying. This is my point. I don't really. Th it, I'm not in the situation. I haven't been in this situation because this is how I think it works. I think when there's a mutual party in the room, and for example, the gang. If the gang over here, Bay over here, I'm in the middle. There, y'all have to respect me enough to understand that I care about the both of y'all, and if y'all care about me, y'all are not going to be disrespectful to each other. That uh, is a common respect. All right, so that's what, a common rule. What do you do when? Boom! Is, this is what this is. This is my, so because I'm not in a situation because this typically works for me. This is my advice for it. I think that you need to create a boundary with all your friends that they know that there's respect. That look, when I am around and we are in the same presence, if you respect me, you will not disrespect so, me by arguing with by when, disrespecting each other. All right, you won't so do if, that. if things goes left, Shade, if, right? If, if things go left, okay, and it, some happen to be mm -hmm. the gang versus mm -hmm. Bay, what do you do in that situation? Okay, so I'm gonna talk to both parties separately first, and I'm gonna see how 
how much the situation can be mended. So I'm going to talk to them because sometimes the people are in spaces where they don't want to mend the situation. They really just don't fuck with and they don't want to talk to the other party. Right. So I'm going to talk to both sides to see which I did with you and my previous friend to see where y'all head is. If I could get y'all to talk about it, if we could be logical and we can move on as family and just not be a, a stem in our all our relationships or if it's not something I commend and I could just simply say like look if things happened you know what I mean we're not gonna go forward in negative energy y'all just not gonna be around each other no more so that's how I would do it like I would talk to both sides you know what I'm saying see how level-headed they are if they're willing for the conversation some conversations just need space and time and if this space and time we need fuck it we just space and time I know that you know what now I can't invite you out well you know when I'm with this person right now for now until it's some time cool down then when time cool down i'll see if you guys want to talk and if y'all just really don't fuck with each other well here this is the boundary y'all don't have to fuck with each other that's my man you're my friend y'all have to respect each other though or once y'all don't that's now disrespecting me so this is this, this, this man that was advocate i guess so what what if then because i mean we all have like our own morals and codes right yeah so what if if i don't like this person from this african-american heritage and you know how we always want oh, yeah. some real nigga bullshit yeah so if I don't like this person and you're hanging out with this person and now I'm like, no, you know, I don't like this person mm -hmm. back where I'm from. If you know, if, if I don't like somebody mm -hmm. and you still hang with that person, that's unloyal. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, right? I don't have friends like that. I'm a grown ass woman. No, I'm you saying your boyfriend. No. Feels like okay. If even, even that, like, I don't have a boyfriend like that. Like even you, like me personally, I don't have those type of people around me. Like if I'm, you can't, if y'all fall out while we're all friends, like it's one thing if y'all wasn't friends before and I'm friends with you now and I start being friends with somebody you like. I will never do that. That's stupid. Like my friend don't like you. Why would I go be friends with somebody that my friend doesn't like? However, if we're all friends and y'all fall out, no, nah, you can't expect me to choose a side and don't expect me to because if that's the point, you're choosing a side because I'm not choosing nothing. But babe, because we were friends, we're all friends and y'all fell out. Nah, I, I respect that. I, I, yeah, 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 I like, respect nah. that 100%. But it's been times where that wasn't the case for like me. What? Like when what? I was hanging out with a, a particular, like, Maybe a friend yeah. that you don't like, and you like, yo, you know I don't fuck with that. You, it's like you still Jay, doing I it. I always gave you realm to do what you want to do. Like even when the person so I just, was talking, that just came out of me. nowhere. No, yeah, no, it came out of nowhere. But let me tell what? you something. No you're, you're, but you're lying on camera because when this person had a party, I was like, yo, go. You said, I said, yo, you go well, to I'm the not even party. Talking about that person. Or like, okay, but then what are we else are we talking I'm about? Because the rest, I don't know. Unless you're lying, I don't know nah, another not, person we're talking about. I have no reason to lie. All right, so what other person? Tell me in my ear what person you talking about. What I'm saying is, it's when has that happened? It's been a time where. I was doing things with somebody that you might not care for, and you definitely was like, when? Yo, you, it's like it's, it's almost like you're you're throwing it in my face at, at this when? point. If you say because I like when the only person I know that we fell out, I know one person. Mm -hmm. Like anybody else, like I'm one, you know, I, I deal with continuously. The, like the only other person, like when it was their party, when it was done, I was like, you should go. I've never told you not to go do business with them. Now I said like, yo, don't this person I feel definitely disrespect me. Don't keep throwing in my face like you about to be best buds with but them. But I just but said no, that. But I'm saying you can go to their party. But if you, if, you can go if support them, me, but you cannot be just hanging out with them like I'm just about to go chill over their house. Like fast. no, but because they were disrespectful. But, but, and I don't but try, that's like, my no. point. If, if I had a friend, right? If but that I was, never said you couldn't hang with them. I said go support them, but you cannot be chilling with them continuously because it's disrespectful. That's what I said. I never said you couldn't go support them. You can't show up at their parties. You can't do this. I said, like, so, you're not so, about to be, like, for example, when they was over the house, when I wasn't there at work, you're not about to be chilling with them like that. No, it's right. disrespectful. So that's my, what I said. So, so my point, that's exactly what I'm saying. All right, but it's not because you said I said never hang with I never no, said that. No, you didn't say never hang with right, You're just well, saying you clear. feel like, you like, I said, it's like you're throwing it in my face. I literally said that. I'm like, yo, me hanging with my friend is like throwing it in your face because you don't like that person. So again, no. if I can only support my friend from a distance, that and, ain't my friend. That, that's a okay, supporter. But you're taking it far because I'm I said not. what I said. I said what I said. And I, but I, you literally I'm being said, very you, clear. Right. When it goes to supporting them, birthdays, all that stuff, but that's not go a ahead. Friend. But I'm telling you, but, all that's right. That's a supporter. All right, well, listen. That's not a friend. If you want to deal with somebody who disrespect me on a regular, consistent basis and be having them come over the house and you going over their house knowing that they've been disrespectful to the point where it did go into fighting terms, then you go ahead and do that. We just so, won't so, be like, so, but, it'll, it'll, right, so, it'll create listen, a stem right here. Listen, and I'm not upset. Listen, only... The only thing I get frustrated with. Our producer with, said we had to wrap this we up. Get, soon. Yo, we talking I'm about it. We, it's a podcast. We go two hours if we want. All like, right, well, relax. So I'm, if we're talking, so it's like if if we're having a conversation, right, and we're talking about you, you literally just said if I had a friend and if I want to hang with my friend, my boyfriend is not like that. However, you're doing the same thing that you just said. You, I don't agree. You, I that's said, the exact I said, same I said thing. Exactly what I said. That's, that, right? that's a friend that I I've been had. Exact, I said exactly what I said. Right. When All right, cool. Comes, Say less. I said exactly what I said. All right, so when what it about comes to, what? No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. 
I said, I never said you can't be, and they can't be in your life at all. That's when you started to say, you said no, because in my, from my hood, but you was like, you actually done that before. I've never told you you couldn't be friends with somebody. I said no, because but me and this. But you're telling me what your no, definition I'm of a friend you, is to me. All right. Because well, I can't do Jay, what, we'll I, what I do a as a friend. Then. I never told you to stop that. I let you know what bothers me. Now, it's up to you how you choose to deal with it. If you chose to back down off of it and you felt that was best, that's fine. If you didn't, then me, you would just have to face on our terms. You never had to cut nothing. I never physically told you don't be friends with nobody i never said that but i let you know right. my boundaries and what i'm willing to deal with and not dealing with and if you weren't willing guess what we from there would take our boundaries the way we need to deal with them like all i gave you was a boundary all right that i never said don't don't i just gave you a boundary respect all right so what about um what about when like you're the only one in a relationship and amongst your friends what about do you think that you do you think that plays a, a part of your friendship i mean or your relationship what do you mean uh the fruit don't fall too far from the tree basically so if, if your friends out here having fun and i mean at, originally what i was like if your friends out here enjoying living their best life and thoughts or whatever the case may be do you think that's going to weigh on you at any part personal personally you asking me personally me no i'm my own bitch i'ma just say that on the camera I'm, I'm, a, I'm my hair out what do you want to pull your hair out for us <laughs> no, go ahead go ahead what go do you want to i'm my ahead. own female i'm my own female nobody can get if i want to do something trust me it's because i heavily wanted to do it it's not because my friends are doing it it's not because they're out there thought and i've been around plenty of friends who are single and we go out and they entertain the niggas and i'm over here mingling doing my own thing not thoughting if that's what you want to call it yeah cool all right so, so if i about? was out Right. And all my niggas is with some bitches. Your niggas are always with bitches. I just came from an event and they were with bitches. Not, and not their bitch either. What's up? My niggas never... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, let's go there. My, like, what are we talking my, about? First of all. Oh, okay. All, I never said nobody was doing anything. I just said that there are always are bitches All right, respect. Around, but, guess, but guess what? You period. were there. You were there. So All right. I was there because you invited me again, but I was questioned why I was there, which makes sense because there was other bitches there. <laughs> what am I there for? You ruined their fun. All right, bet. Cool. But, right, and maybe I did ruin their fun. And again, that's on me for pro, 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 for, for giving... I ain't going to say that. Anyway, that's on me. But what I will say is you were there. Okay. And times when you're not there, would you feel comfortable if I'm with... All my niggas and it's a bunch of bitches around and they in bitches' faces, but I'm. <laughs> but this is where to me it gets tricky. How is it? Because you work in the exact... club. Because you work in the club, you're around bitches all the time. What are we talking about? And I hate you, you don't even have about to. That. You don't even have to be with your friends because you be with bitches all the time. Yes, I complain about it because when I'm there, it be bitches who walk up and wrap their arms around you and all all this in your ear and stuff like that. I see it all the time, so of course I'm gonna question it and of course I'm gonna ask you the questions. What are we talking about right now? I'm talking about you around thotties all day long. What are we talking about? You got self control, right? Yeah. So, so I got self control. But again, would you like it if I continue to have an issue with that? If I'm always what? bringing it up, I'm like, yo, like you always want your friends. They always with these niggas and shit like that. Would you like it? Because the first, I, the first thing when I ask you, like, no, I don't think it's a problem. Uh, what another person do don't got shit to do with me. Facts. Yeah, they can be a, they could be around a bunch of niggas and I could be off mm -hmm. to myself. Mm -hmm. And to me, I'm like, yo, if you think like that. We talk about this word grace. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give me more grace? Because Jay, I give you, you a lot of grace. Like we about to get on the camera, act like I don't give you no grace. You really about to get on the camera, act like I don't let you live out here. I literally Niggas just, I crazy. literally watched the, my words. I literally watched my words on purpose. I said, why don't you give me more grace? I never said, why don't you give oh, me you grace? Oh, you want more I, grace? Yeah. So if you think, hmm. if, if, if I'm, I'm thinking like, yo, if you think like that, right? Mm -hmm. To me, if you think like that, you can look at me and be like, you know what? Because I'm like this. I know he's the same way unless the trust is off because uh -huh. then if the trust is off then maybe all right but if you like yo you know me if i was out with my friends and they out with their niggas and i've been out all a lot of times with my friends they be with niggas and i ain't doing nothing my nigga gonna do the same thing okay so now if y'all watch a podcast and y'all also follow me and jay then you know i'm with jay majority of the time i'm not even out with my friends like that and when i am out with my friends like that normally they come out with me and jay so now yes i would give you more grace if say I was at the club every Friday night and I was having to be in those situations all the time where, you know, you had to question me. You don't have to question me that much, but you are at the club every single Friday. And if not Friday, you have to host another one on Saturday, maybe or Sunday. We need some or more. Da, 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 and you want some more. And you even think about now working at, you know, in a strip club. Yeah, yeah of course, you're going to get the questions a little more because you are in the situation. Fuck with way, me. I'm in DC with it. You, you are in the situation. Don't be rude. I'm not. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. We're trying to get this bag together. 
the, the, I'm not being rude. But my point is, you're talking about giving you grace, but you're in this situation 10 times more than I am. So I'm not out with my girls when they are thotting a lot at all. All right. Like now, if we go out in the summer and we out in this day party Sunday, it's one Sunday out of a fucking month or two. But all you right. don't ever see me anywhere. Any, any, all y'all follow me. Y'all see what the fuck is going on. You Respect. don't see me anywhere. So, so, so to you say think, that to me, that's backwards. All right. So you think that it's basically a gray area. And the gray area is that because it's contingent. It, it depends, basically. Like, it depends on the situation. So because I'm out all the time, of course, you're going to be frustrated, which makes sense. So because you're not out all the time, I suppose you just understand it and let it rock because you're not out all the time. And because you're not out, out all the time, you can have more self-control. No, I never said that. I'm saying is... Because I'm not out all the time, the reason why you don't feel like you have to ask me that much is because I'm not. So you just said that when I asked you, your reason was, oh, I'm my own woman and da-da-da. So you've asked me before, no, right? No, I just, no. But you've asked me. The point is you asked me, right? No, no not really. This is really for the podcast. It was a question for the podcast. Okay. So you never asked me is what you're saying? Not really, because a lot of your friends had boyfriends. Okay. So like, and then now starting, you know what I'm saying, it's starting to be the opposite, but... Okay. That's why I brought it up this, this time. Okay. I never really, I really, honestly, just being honest, because of my situation, like, I look at it like, I have no room to say anything about you going out with your friends in the club, because I'm in the club and right. I'm working. But if and I'm not, then I don't understand it that way. So, of course, I'm going to ask you. Right. But I just asked the question. It was a hypothetical question. And you said no. And you said, I've been my friends. I have plenty of friends that ain't have niggas. And yeah, I'm with them. I do. And so I'm saying if you can if you can relate to yourself in that way, right? Right. Why not relate to your man in that way? I don't understand what you're saying, to be honest. Because, again, cool. I said what I said. Respect. Is I don't ask you that much anyway. There's times where I ask you, but I don't ask you that much. Jay, you work every single Friday at the club. Every Friday you tell me you come home, I ask you, no. You've been at the club. I haven't said nothing to you. Nothing. There's been times I've asked you though. All right. And and you've also had some mishaps of why I've asked you though. Mishaps. Yeah, like never had um, no mishap. Wait. Like pause. You don't want to talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Mishaps? So for I never example, had no mishaps. Like in my you life leaving a club, with you. right? With you. you. No, no, we're gonna talk about it, Alex. We're gonna talk about it. So you you never had no mishaps. So you not you left the club before, yeah. right? Yeah. Boom. You called me, right? Yeah. You were like you're asleep. I was like. Yeah, I'm asleep. He was like, you don't want no food. Mind you, I had cooked before Jay left to, for him to eat, right? right? So it just seemed off. And I'm like, why is he calling me? Like, what's going on? And then I call you. There's girls around, whatever, right? Yeah. You come home. So I was, I did go through his phone. A girl sent him the address to the hotel, no? Yeah. You was like, nah, I was just talking to her. So, you know, maybe we all could just like, you know what I mean? You have mishaps. This that is ain't the no mishaps. It I is a mishap. You, no you mis didn't call me. Because when I called, when you called me, you asked me if I ate. You ain't tell me nothing was going on. I looked at no, your phone wait, to see what pause. was going on. So what, so what did, are we talking all right, about? All right, so what I did was exactly was something, so something that you hate so we're not about to just i okay. never had no mishap to me mm -hmm. it was no mishap mm -hmm. what i did was i was temperature checking you to see how you were feeling he knows i don't like to be temperature checked don't temperature check me if you're gonna call me tell me what's up don't tell me you hungry oh all right and hang up but you already in process that's not a temperature check that's sneaky all right okay so okay again with my story i called you to see how you was feeling right like i didn't call it temperature checking i only said that because it's something that you don't like and it's something that you pointed out to me it wasn't temperature checking i was really just calling you to see how your mood was so if you if you were up and you were happy excited i would have been like yo let's go to this hotel together whatever the case may be i called you you wasn't you, you because you cooked before i went to the club you already had it in your mind that something was going on so for therefore again i'm being very transparent and understanding of your of of your disposition however i can't get that same grace from the other side so Again, I called her to see how she was feeling. She ain't sound like she was really in the mood. So I'm like, cool, fuck the hotel party. I'm going home with my girl. If you'd have answered the phone in another way, then I'd have been like, yo, let's be out. But again, I really just called to see how it was. So when you went through my phone, you seen the address, I ain't hot and shit. And, and like, we, I wasn't, I didn't go because you wasn't in the mood. And I seen it and I ain't have to ask you because I, call, I clearly got the memo by your, your, your disposition. So I'm like, fuck it. But the point is... So no mishaps. You could think it's not a mishap, but the point is, that's what you be out here doing. That That's the point. That's why I have to ask you. I be out here. What, what, that, what did I do? That's mingling with girls. And you, every time it's like, oh, girls is a part of the job. It's a part of the job. But mingling with girls after the job not is not a part of the yeah, job. My right. point exactly. So yes, I do have to ask you. Like I said. I feel like that, 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 that story like is said. so sweet because we've had situations that a lot of people haven't had. And if I didn't feel comfortable to do that, I wouldn't have did that. But okay. again, it was I think it was miscommunication okay. in, in our situation. But mm -hmm. again, I didn't just do that 
for nothing. It wasn't just be like, yeah, I'm trying. It wasn't for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I to put that on out there that like I was just out here trying to go to a bitch hotel. I just hotel. said it's mishaps. That's what I that said. Ain't no I mishap. Whether it's misunderstanding is a mishap. Whether right. it's uh, um, temperature checking is a mishap. So whether anything that we didn't uh, uh, just get immediately and it was easy to process, then it's a mishap. Makes sense. Period. Right, what about- so that's what I called it. You done with that? I'm done. Talk- I don't like your energies today on the podcast at all. We're talking like we're having a great conversation. No, you've been hype and you've been not. We we have not been coercing. Like we're not because getting these to the are bottom that we things. don't under- agree the with. The bottom though. things is just like a back and forth. But come on, let's go so to wanna, the topic. So get- no, nah, I don't want to talk to you. Come on, let's but go to the topic. But you don't like my energy. I'm- we'll, we'll, episode ten will reconcile. But come on, topic. What's the topic? What? Go, come on, go. I'm sure you want to. We got to the bottom of it any other time. I just now don't like your energy today. We're, t- we're in, in a, you just been hype. You ain't even yeah, been talking be nice energy. to me. I don't feel like you've been talking nah, nice to me. No, I don't want to kiss. I apologize. Give me, I'm trying to Mm-mm, be I'm en- not ready entertaining yet. for the crowd so we can get um, some. Yeah, but you being mean. It's because we don't, it's topics that we don't agree with. Okay, but it's still coming off mean. I don't like and it. And I'm apologizing. I apologize. I don't forgive you right now. So let's go topic. Shout out to Cashland. We want to shout out Cashland. Oh, hell yeah. Because this, com- this outfit is really comfortable. I really love it. You know I love gray one. And it got pockets and zipper. It's just really cute. I really like what Cashland did with these outfits. He did a great yeah, job. Shout out to my guy Cashland. He's building a, uh, yes. like a, not an auxiliary, but like, he's kind of, not a mall, but a store that's going to have other local brands inside of the store is going to be dope. So shout out to my guy Cashland. Love it. Also, he still got a store at uh, Security Square Mall. Make sure you follow him at shop.cashland. Thank you for the uh, the, the fit, man, for, for ladies and men. Yeah, he just dropped ladies, and they fired. Yeah. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. Hella comfortable. Material yeah. is just phenomenal. Great quality. Very good job. And it's hot, so it. we, we sweating in this motherfucker. So um, personal time. So how do you feel? When, so person telling me is we talking about masturbating. So oh wow yeah. So I feel like it's a normal thing, but to me I just feel like I don't know. Like for me I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my way of chilling out. I don't need to go to step out of my relationship and it's just something to quick to get my day started. Boom boom bow when I'm done. You know what I'm saying? But when I hear you did it, I feel like because you got a, a extra object. That's inserted into the equation. It's like you trying to like replace me with something else, and like is it your like hand the same thing? Isn't that like a what do they call those? A, it's disrespectful. Don't they have like fake? They hand? got pocket pussy. Pocket and shit. right? Isn't but your hand I'm like a pocket that. pussy? I'm not, but, I'm not, but it's the same I'm, thing. It's your hand. It's I'm, you putting it in the motion of a pocket. It's a, your hand. You don't make no sense. What do they call? Flashlight. Flashlight. See. <laughs> Whatever that shit is, how you can say I'm replacing you doing the same because thing? Because this is my hand. I'm not replacing it with another object. But you're putting it in the form of a pussy, probably making it as tight as you can be. No, and you're I'm doing not. the same thing. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not two handing. I'm not. That's weird. I'm not two handing. I'm one handing. Because you know, I'm done. It might take me two minutes. If that, probably a minute and a half. Who said it doesn't take me two minutes? Man, let me go get this too. I want to see this shit. <laughs> Yo, she. First she, of all, he bought it for me. You for bought us. it for me. So you could. He bought it for so me. So we can get, get free together. He gets offended when he comes to you charging it, it when he's not around. I bought it for us to all get right. free together, not for all you right, to, but it's the same to go. Thing. That's you like be, us. Wor- That's you like be us. working. I be thinking about you. So boom, sometimes Nobody, it be like. You ain't thinking about me while you masturbating. You lying. See, I don't like his energy today. Like, we're supposed to be this loving couple. We are. Why wouldn't I be thinking about him? What else would I be thinking about, Jay? So because I say you're thinking about somebody else means we're not a loving couple. That's what, what I am mean I thinking about about? delusional. But like, what am I Scorpio's thinking about? You say you're fucking... not thinking about me. What am I thinking about then? You're probably thinking about the, the time you had that one night stand at the club and that shit was great. It was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm you, glad y'all could see how crazy he is. Yeah, you probably because... thinking about, you, you probably, now you probably think about, what's the nigga that everybody like? Uh... The boxing nigga. Now he don't he don't box, but he what played boxing. Box, he played the I boxing. damn sure don't like Javante. Michael B. Jordan. She probably think she probably think about Michael B. Jordan while she in there. And look, look at that smile. I just smile because you're hilarious. <laughs> she try to. This how it went. She laughed like, damn, how he know? And then when I said something, she no, she I'm laughing. At, like, I'm laughing at Britney back there because she just was like, 
<laughs> yeah, Michael B. Jordan. She knows so. she be thinking about that nigga. But if I tell him I'm thinking about it, he don't want to believe it. Because so you, you lying. So just don't lie. Just be like, you know what? Okay, I'm just moral to get of the story. Of, get myself out the way. Moral of the story. I think it's absolutely normal if you ask me. That shit. It's okay. But when I do it, you don't like it either. You be foolish. Once but, I tell you, my eyes, she be like, what you doing? How many times shit, you do just, it when I'm not around? She be like, what you doing? How many times you do it? She be like, what you doing? Like, he don't answer the she be like, what you doing? I'm like, shit, I just got finished beating my dick. She like, oh. Because who the fuck says it like that? Like, I'm calling, like, to talk about something. Like, you I'm ask like, me what oh, I'm doing. I'm like, I just like, got finished beating my dick. I had to, you know what I'm saying? That's an ass. And you be like, you be like, but even oh the way my he God, says it, like, do I don't say it like that. That's raunchy. You gonna be like, like I don't like, say it like that. You gonna be like, like, you gonna be like oh my God, I don't you even gonna do tell that? him. You gonna be like, right. I, I, just, I don't even tell him because it's about, not in a, it's my personal time. That's why it's my personal time. I don't tell him. He just, what happens is, you know, the shit dies from time to time and I be having and a charger. And shit in a bed under my fucking pillow. Disrespectful. <laughs> First of all, this is my the pillow. fuck I go to sleep and I gotta, what the fuck is this? Like, why you got this shit in the bed right next to me? Like, that's some weirdo, that's some gay shit. I'm waking up right beside me saying, what's up, bro? How you doing? Like, we share the same pussy together. Like, no, what the fuck is that? But why are you treating it like it's real? Because, because it's, it's not even object. real. My hands are... It's a fucking electronic. My, you wear AirPods, I can't nigga. vibrate, my nigga. I can't. I'm going to do that for 10 minutes. No, I can't Jeez. do that shit. So why the fuck you got that shit? You know what I'm saying? I get jealous. So you got... Like, no, I can't do that shit. So what I'm saying is... So what do people do? Well, use your hands. This is all natural. No okay, GMO. Okay, so for example, I used to use my hand, and then he bought me the toy. For he us, bought me the toy. For us that we could use together. And then I liked the toy, so I was like, all right. So that's the, you know what the equivalent you know, to that is? The equivalent to that is, hypothetically, right, we have a threesome, right? And if, if, if we have a threesome, and then after, after we have a threesome, I'll be like, you know what? You got me the girl, so I like it. So I'm gonna just keep going. That's not the same that's the thing. That's the whole person we're talking and about. And that's a whole person. object. But a person and an object, the same thing. Right, Almost. exactly, nigga. Like, no, it's a not. It's and it's not attached to anybody. It's not. It's not. No, it's not nothing. And you bought it. I can it. say this bitch ain't nothing because that won't be worth wow. a damn. Wow, don't ever think that's going to fly in an argument if that ever was to happen. Like, no, it's not the same thing. And if you ever even insisted. So you think it's cool. So even when I tell you, you don't be mad. You don't be upset. What? When what? I be like, I just got It's just the approach. Like, he's like, I'm beating my dick. Like, why are you going to tell me or, like or that? Or I'll like, be like, I masturbated yesterday. You be like, you oh my God. You don't never say I masturbated yesterday. So you never got. So you, you be like, yeah, I just beat my dick. Yo, shit, I be, like, be full of shit for y'all. No, you so so you've shit. never said, you when I, I've never told you I've did it, like, during a week or something. You never got a, a, Yeah, upset? like, okay. So, for example, right? Like, if I was, like, I don't know, like, say, you know, before work or whatever, whatever, like, or. Like before he went to work, I'm in the house and he then I left or something. He didn't. He waited till I leave or something. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, but, but you like, just said you didn't. You don't care. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't. It's not that. It's nothing but now wrong you're with changing it. it up. I'm not changing it up. Oh, wow. I'm just saying. So you asked me about the times I've said something. I might have been like, damn, I nigga, like you. I left. Like I was just home. Like or something. Like whatever. Right. Or like for me, you don't be. You be at work. Like what the fuck you want me to do? Wait till I get back. Or you could. You could. You could send me. You know what I'm saying. Like you show me. You know what I'm saying. No, the reason why I don't send Jay anything because when we first got together, he had to tell like he had just all these videos of just girls doing wild things, and I was like, I would never. Send but why would anything. if you know that's what your nigga like, right? No. If you know that's what your nigga like, why not mm -mm. entertain what your nigga like so your nigga because won't go nowhere else and get it? It's not you better not do it anyway. But I'm not. But why do we nigga. think like that? Why don't we? Why? Because here's the thing, right? Niggas love to brag about stupid shit and then realize that's exactly You're my it's girlfriend. A, no, nigga. what it is. Right, it gets really intimidating. First of all, okay, I don't respect. like. I'm not about to send you like. And Jay's wild. I'm not gonna tell you why, but he's a wild, nigga. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm not about to be acting like you know what I mean and doing like no, thank you. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not about to program myself to do all that. Get the fuck out of here. No, and you better not go do it now that you're in the relationship. If you want to do it, go be single. Period. Poo. Nah, that's that. Uh. Mm -hmm. That's that. It, do we have to get to the bottom of that? Cause I want to have weird energy. You gonna get this weird energy when we get off the spot, so yes, regardless. Why would you do that? Why would you take this? This with? is real time. You act like this is fake. I know, but we're working. Like why? Why? I'm not I, working. This is my real life. We're sitting in our real life interview, uh, interview living room. All right, let's get into some with shit. our real life friends. Let's get into some shit that's not real life. Dealing with, with it between is real life. You. Boosie definitely did offer six K to the Kappa. All right, let's talk about. We got it before we get there. What? My nigga knew he know better than to be wearing a fucking capless shirt. Why he knew better? 
First of all, he's from the South. That's it. Even if he don't have a brother that's a Kappa. Before you even get to him having a brother that's a Kappa, he's from the South. Period. Okay. Like, you know better. One. But what if he didn't? He mm -hmm. said he didn't. All right. So if he, he said didn't, he really bought this. It was fresh. He just bought it to put it on. He thought it was a good look. Like, it was nice. Y'all think Boosie dumb? I don't think he's dumb, but I definitely think Far he's from, from the hood and he's ignorant as fuck. Yeah. But he's, I think it like, was, it might have had something to do with it. I, At first, I, did, I didn't want to think this, but I kind of think it was a publicity stunt. Because the shit worked out hmm. too well for him. The shit worked out too well. And I you feel think like, it was a publicity stunt? Kind of. Out of all the years the cap has been strolling to this motherfucking wipe me down, you think this, out of all the years, is finally a publicity stunt? Kind of. Why? Because, you know, Boosie is doing his thing with the IG Live shit and people is loving it. Um, I don't know if that's true, but I've been hearing talks about him getting his own show. And I just feel like this makes more sense. It's like, yo, All right, I, can I, can, I can have a crowd no matter what. And I feel like it was a great, it was great timing. Mm -hmm. um, matter of fact, wait, when did he do this? When was J5? Last Sunday. Last Sunday. When, he did, when, when did he? The day after. I ain't even think about none of that until now. I ain't think about, that's. Voila! It makes more sense now. But anyway, I don't. Okay. So I just think that that's um, a good approach. He knew better. Um, do I hate him for it? No, it's Boosie. Like who? Who? No, I hate him, Boosie. If he wore a Q shirt, I'd have been like, rude to Boosie, Roosie Boo. You know what I'm saying? Roosie like, Boo. <laughs> Roosie Boo. But I, I wouldn't be mad. Um, so the fact that he offered six dollars, like honestly, um, I hate. I don't want to throw like. Oh, they, was dragging it on, so they was dragging yeah, like, on Twitter. And I right? meant Alex. Like, what, eh. what happened? No, I was joking about I, mean, I always throw uh, Alex and they're like, mm, we don't got to talk about that. But no, no, no. No, <laughs> nah, but I feel like we do have to talk about it because uh, a lot of Kappas was very mad. And they also were sending out very much threats to him and saying, you better take that off and don't walk around here with that's that because be. watch what's going to happen. We got a whole nation of Kappas that's ready. Like That's how they be. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck type of shit? What? Podcast over, bro. What like, did what I do? Was you you was doing it? What the fuck happened? Because I did it better than you. You mad at me? You was doing it first. The All fuck? Right. It's a lot of cappers upset. It was a lot of cappers upset. Mm -hmm. Jay, Jay's upset. <laughs> they got into, uh, they, they, they was trying to like, they was talking about like gang. What I, all right, so yeah, we, we can talk about some real shit. What I didn't like about the whole debacle on Twitter, right? Niggas is really like, man, I wear a cap of shit and show like, Let's not get stupid. Like a lot of times we forget reality. And honest, no matter how tough you are, it's always somebody out there trying to prove a point. I just think that. So for example, like before, like, you know, Jay is a Q. And I remember the first thing he told me when we got into a relationship was like, don't wear none of my Q shirts. <laughs> But the first honestly, thing I said when we got in a relationship, like it was one, like it was just one thing. You, I'm not saying like we walked in like That's before you're my girl up boyfriend. Like, before I ask, uh, before hey, before you become my girlfriend. I just think what happened, it was one of the something that you took serious from the beginning. You, that's my point. He was like, don't wear my cute shirts, right? But I will say, had Jay not told me that and why, I might have just put one on to sleep, not to be cute. Just like, you know, you carry, I'm trying to sleep in a shirt. His first shirt I see is a cute t-shirt. I might have just put it on to sleep one night. I wouldn't have known until I knew the seriousness of why, you know what I mean? It made sense not to wear it or et cetera, et cetera, right? What's the seriousness? Well, one, I'm not a fucking Q, and y'all worked hard for y'all letters and your chapter, and it just can be offensive. Like, I didn't work hard to wear those letters. I get it. All right, respect. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, but I wouldn't have known the seriousness had you not expressed it. What I'm saying is, I'm pretty sure he knows he's not a Kappa. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, but say his brother never said that, like, bro, don't ever wear my Q shit. He probably didn't know. Mm -hmm. he that's why I said, like, yeah, it could be a pu publicity stunt. That's a good approach on it. But I also think that he might just really genuinely didn't know he couldn't, you know what I mean? Like, walk around. Like, Moneybag Yo be wearing a, be wearing a varsity jacket that has, like, like Moneybag, but it has, like, this letters. Like, I don't think, it's, but it's cute. It's cool. It's, it's, you know, people wear varsity jackets. Like, they buy them separately. Like, so if I go into the fucking, nah, I couldn't really drink with you because you was getting rowdy. Finish your drink. Cause you ain't trying to give me a kiss. I He's got full it. of shit. Wow. I've been trying. So to. okay, come give me a kiss. Okay. So, boom. Yeah. So all I'm saying is he might have really just not known. Um, and I just don't like that a lot of kappas and a lot of 
other fraternities or just people in general just don't give people enough grace to think like some people really just don't know everybody doesn't pledge and everybody doesn't go into school learning about fraternities and sororities like we don't go in that's a part of our curriculum and we're not looking to do it we don't fucking know half y'all y'all don't even we're not even supposed to know when y'all pledging so how the fuck we supposed to know inner details of what we cannot and can do if we don't know like you know what i'm saying so like just even like for example like i don't know like you know, one of my best friends, like, I think she used to date a cap or whatever, but she just liked the dance, right? She thought it was just a dance, right? And she be just, she used to come out, to, that's why I know how to do it, because she just used to come out, strolling, you seen her when she came out here from our birthday, you was like, Kayla, what are you doing? She was just strolling, but it at that point, some places just like the dance. <laughs> some places <laughs> just like the dance, like, as well, like, you know what I'm saying? So all that to say is... Like, people got to just give people more grace of what they don't know and just stop expecting just because y'all take y'all fraternities and sororities so serious that everybody's going to take it as serious as you. We didn't cross and we didn't attempt to. We don't know the severe, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't even know what y'all go through, let alone what y'all have to learn, like all these things. We don't know. We don't know. And we're not obligated to know. And if we mess up on some ignorance of not knowing, relax. It's not the end of the world. Just educate them. Like, yo, bro, you know, just because I'm a sorority, like, or a fraternity, you know, just some things, like, you know, we learned that, you know, whatever, you're not supposed to do that. Oh, my bad, bro. Like, whatever. It could be a simple fucking conversation. Like, all those threats and all those, you know, we we deep and we nationwide and da 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 and I'm a cap and nah, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! I swear we got to make that the caption for the Gemini Scorpio pod. Bet. Zero so, zero nine. All right. So first of all, they had nothing to do with what I was saying. What? I was talking about how I'm talking about the topic. Not I was the too. Fuck of what you were gonna but say? But I was. I had started like a, a whole point, and you had jumped in, and you was like, "No." Da, 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 da. What happened is you told me to drink. I drank, and then I just came out speaking. I didn't have no feed off of what you were talking about. You started drinking before I said drink, babe. I mean, you started talking before <laughs> I said drink. What but anyway, you? so what I was what I was saying was what I don't like is the fact that people are like trying to show that they are somebody by embarrassing somebody else like bro you don't have to be like yo i'm gonna wear a cap with shirt and y'all niggas ain't going to do going to do nothing because no matter how much of a tough guy you are is somebody else out there that's willing to prove a point more than you're a tough guy if that makes sense so to put yourself in an extra danger to try to prove a point that we all gonna probably laugh at doesn't make any sense like on twitter everybody was just joking like these the cap niggas ain't gonna do shit. i'll wear whatever i want when i want and i'm just like yo bro like i get it but to but to initiate something like that it just makes no sense to me like to try to prove a point that, that don't need to be proved makes no sense to me uh second of all man you don't give nobody no grace let a nigga do you dirty fuck them i i can listen i can uh choose who i want to be my friend when it, what you what you always say like when niggas do something that you don't like. Well, I cut niggas off whenever. We came into the relationship. I do, though. That's my boundary, though. That's not like a... But you don't give nobody no grace. So how can you tell somebody to give people grace? You I ain't giving give, niggas grace. I do give people grace. I do give people grace. That's you give great niggas grace. You right. I do give people grace. God's grace. God's good. Lord, I thank mm -hmm. you for the full... Amen. That's all grace you give. Like, no. the, you don't give nobody no grace. I do give people grace. All right, back. Can we... Uh, yeah, I do give people you, grace. Um, That's funny. Another outlook before you speed on past that. Oh, right, another outlook that I like is somebody was saying how... You know, people respect Bloods and Crips way more than they respect knowledgeable fraternities and sororities, right? So basically, you know, if you would go to a neighborhood that's all Crip, you ain't about to go over there wearing blue. Like, you ain't about to go disrespect them like that. The same thing, Facts. like, uh, with, uh, you know, Bloods, you ain't about to go wear because all red just some, through somebody hood. That makes but sense, But y'all don't take the same approach with, well, you know, fraternities and sororities. One, because we're ignorant as a... Not every black person in the United States is ignorant, but just from the hood, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I am too. So in the, in the aspect that is like, I'm not going to respect you because first of all, somebody said it like, you're a college nigga. Y'all niggas ain't about shit. Y'all went to college. Everybody think niggas got this whole notion of people that graduated from college and go to college ain't street niggas because we ain't in the streets. Honestly, some of the smartest niggas in the world are street niggas. The niggas that be like trying to like portray the street image really ain't street niggas and they ain't as smart as you think they is. I'm just saying because a street nigga know how to maneuver and get it done the proper way. I'm just saying, I mean, don't, don't, And there's don't. a lot of street so, niggas who went to college. Right, like, so all, all I'm saying, because I don't want to be that nigga. You yeah. know, it's always a nigga like, that, that niggas talk about that try to, like, defend it. Like, nigga, you only said that because you went to college. Fuck out of here. But anyway, um, I only said that to say. there's a lot of street niggas that no, went no, to college. No, no, but I only like, said that to say, and, but to the, the outside, why am I respecting you? You know what I'm saying? Because you don't got no... 
no street code. Like you ain't you ain't respecting these streets. You ain't doing shit. So of course, and another thing, uh, I seen a, a, a um thing about Nick Cannon and um and uh, Kevin Gates, and they was asking, what would you rather have, love or respect? I mean, love or fear? And and Kevin Gates was like, yo, love a let basically said love will make a nigga cross that boundary because you love him, he you think he gonna forgive you. But a fear, he like if a nigga, let's say you go to jail, and you and you leave a hundred thousand dollars. To the side, right? Out of love, I'll cross that boundary because I, I might get away with it. You might forgive me. But fear, you ain't touching that money because you're scared of what's going to happen. So street niggas, they put more intimidation in niggas' hearts. So yeah, I ain't fucking with Bloods and Chris because I see these niggas out here killing niggas. Niggas in school, they smarter. They ain't really trying to be out here to get themselves in trouble. So I ain't respecting you niggas. And another thing is, they don't know the history like we know mm -hmm. the history because we've been through it. And the niggas in school, they know the respect. They not in those those atmospheres. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not going to respect it as much. So mm -hmm. I, that's what I, that's just my outlook on it. That's what mm -hmm. I think. I like that. Okay. Aw. Look at us. Look at us. Um. Who would have thought? Yeah, I love you, babe. In real life, though. <laughs> Why are you just looking? You said who would have thought? I love With you. Those I, had to, I had to. I love you too. Thank so you um, me eye right, we already know Shaggy passed up on um the chance to appear on Rihanna's album because he ain't want to audition. Audition like I wouldn't want to audition either. But it's Rihanna and it's about to be major. But I mean, it's I would audition at that time though. Shaggy was Shaggy. It ain't that time no more. It wasn't me. That's the only thing I, only, so, I know about. It wasn't me. She got me going on the counter. It wasn't me. But you know what, though? But naked, hanging on the bathroom so door. I ain't gonna lie to hey. y'all. I ain't study this one. But what I will say is, I mean, Rihanna in 2020 is not, Shaggy not fucking with Rihanna in 2020. And I'm I sure audition. there's a lot of artists that have to audition, even if they're half of what Rihanna is. And he's silly. I would audition because, you know, Rihanna does pay a lot of homage just to people who share the same roots as her, and she probably would have picked them up. Man, anyway. I would have been on the counter like, it wasn't me. Got me hanging. All right, whatever. Oh, um, you've been showing the fuck money up bag, today. yo. Ooh, so, money bag, yo confirms relationship with Ariana. Did he confirm it? Yeah, he did. So what I will say he is, say? he said, he, he said, yeah. So the girl, said, yeah, what? so the girl on Hot ninety seven, she asked him. Um, she had, she asked him. She was saying that she's been seeing him around or whatever. And is it true? Are you dating Ari? And he was like, yeah, we, we're doing our thing. What I will say is before we get into that, because, you know, I'm, I, I'm on the radio, so I always acknowledge the shit that people don't acknowledge. Shout out to the shorty that was interviewing him because she did a great job at, like, easing the question in there and being comfortable enough yeah. for him to answer the question right. and not, like, coming Rush off. Rush it off. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, coming off as yeah. too, wanting too much. So shout yeah. out to shorty. Um, But is this really... The topic at hand here. Okay. Because we know that he fucks with Ari. Yeah, kudos. She been fucking with everybody, so I mean, I guess. Whatever. Oh, my God. Shut the uh, fuck up. <laughs> why y'all got to do Ari like that? Uh, um, Her and okay. Lori Harvey, sorry. Okay, so who you know that Ari dated? Javante Tank Davis. Okay. I mean, I don't know G Herbo, but, like, we know him. He's an artist. You know how we feel about our artists. Okay. We love. Um, Moneybag Yo. Yeah, what's the other nigga name? There's what a picture nigga? on Twitter, honestly. Shit. What other nigga? What's the nigga name? Was it? Finish, finish your point, babe. Cause I'll no, I'm it. just trying. To, I need your name. I need, I need to know what the fuck is going on. I don't on. know the nigga name, but it's on Twitter. It's like four niggas in a slot, and we all know him. We all know him? Yeah. What's the fourth nigga? Babe, I don't know that one. I, I, I can't. Go find it, I can't please. find one. Got to. Okay, so. Who a child? <laughs> so. Who a child? The thought they, though They her boyfriends? They, uh, she, she fucking these niggas? Are they friends? Honestly, I mean, I ain't sound right talking about this. I don't give a fuck. I don't know, she but is thought, they, are they friends? But why is she a thought, though? Because we said so. But who said so? We did. Like niggas. who? Why? Jay, I represent the... The, the, the nigga nigga them? Yeah. <laughs> the nigga nigga them. And, I mean, she got a fat butt, you know what I'm saying? She cool, So, I think but what I'm trying to say... Okay, so this is what gets on my nerves a little bit, okay? Let me say this, Because right? you want to be a thought so bad, no, so you want to defend No, I don't want to be a thought real so bad. bad. I just... I'm just trying to understand, right? If none of them are friends, they're not understand all... Understand what? Okay, so G Herbo is her baby father. She dealt with years ago, right? She hasn't dealt with G, Her G Herbo for a long time, right? Oh my okay, God. Okay, they break up. She wants to date, right? Okay. She dates Javante, right? It didn't work out, right? That a year goes past, she dates Moneybag. Yo, what's the problem? 
No, ain't no What's problem. the problem? Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. I really want to know. Like, are they friends? Like, are they wasn't in the same group? They ain't on the same labels. They ain't gonna. They they don't hang out. They don't go. The, yeah, they all in the industry. But that's where she lives in the industry. Like, for example, you went to high school, right? Yeah, yeah. You dated somebody your freshman year. You break up. Ain't, ain't two no, summers go by. Your junior year, you date somebody else. Ain't no, ain't no the problem. Anybody got a meme? I'm Ari with the four niggas. No. I'm well, four at, niggas? I don't know this fourth huh? nigga you speak of, It was of, baby. another nigga in the meme, I don't I know swear. no fourth nigga. Huh? I don't know. He don't even know where to find it. It's like, on, how it you calling Twitter, this girl? Bro. How you calling this girl? How y'all, how y'all car faxing this girl, Pum Pum? And y'all don't even know all the niggas? The fuck? I'm really trying to ask. There ain't no problem, babe. You're right. I'm sorry. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you just said she a thought, and I'm trying to figure out how she a to thought. To me, she a thought. Okay, even so how, 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 how does she make... Tell me how. Yo, it's like... Tell, me, t- tell the girls so they don't follow her footsteps. What's the rule of thumb? Honestly, let as, me see, as Alex, let me see. Let me see. Four. Thank you. I, let me see. Let me see. always I said, crazy. I just said I want to see the fourth nigga. Javon said, "Who's this nigga?" Young, Young M-A. M.A. Fucking. I, who said they dated? Who said they dated? All right, man. Jab- so so boom. I'm in the industry. I'm with rappers all the time. I get pictures with them. We all out in the same places all the time. That means I dated all of them. Wait, who was this? This. Who's that? I don't even know who this nigga is. Like, that could be her fucking cousin. How do y'all know who she dated? We don't buy you guys. We the only ones you we know. Got it, the girl, only you one, got no, no, no. The, second, the only ones we know for sure. She has a baby with G Herbal. That was her ex. Mm-hmm. X X X. Right? She dated Javante. Rest in peace, X X X. You said X X X. I'm like, rest in Yo, peace, the triple X. I just want to pay respect. Niggas is crazy. She dated she dated Gervonta. Mm-hmm. She fucking dated, and then she dated Money Back Yo. Mm-hmm. Okay, so tell the people so the girls don't follow in her footsteps and she makes them a thought. How are they? All right, and Young and May confirm they're in a relationship. Where? We about to watch the whole thing. No, I'm just because they was hanging out. You know how many doms hang with pretty bitches all the time? They be like, oh, that's my girlfriend, that's my boyfriend, just to be playing. Right, that like was what a, are we I mean, talking about? Right now, but it's but all good. But even then, like, what if they would just like hung out, like whatever? Every all ladies think young and Maya is cute. Like that's the standard. Like, so you, I ain't you gonna like, fuck with her too? No, I'm not saying I would fuck with her. But listen, she hangs with a lot of pretty bitches. Like I'm trying to tell you, I've seen it happen before. It's Dom's out here Bae. hang with pretty bitches. They be like, oh, this is my girlfriend, but they don't be doing all nothing. It Bae. just be all like nothing. Bae, honestly, I don't give a fuck. I asked right? you. I asked you to tell it, the people she not. why you think that's that behavior, because so I'm, that I'm they just, know so what me, niggas I, look at I as can, that behavior. You was on Instagram with four or five niggas, and that's it, babe. That's it. Like you, you said, five. Okay, you was on Instagram with four or five niggas. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's it. But the right. the, the main thing about this, the bigger issue is what about my Lori man, Harvey? My, no, Lori Harvey has a, a tattoo. No, I don't give a fuck about none of these hoes. So what I'm saying is she had that. Why we can't talk about Lori? Babe, we talked about, I was about, right, to, can we about Lori. Can we finish this though? Wow, we, we were finish. still on Money Back Yo. Right. We didn't even finish. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Can we finish All right, before go we ahead. go to Lori Harvey? All right, go on. Money Back Yo was on on IG Live, and the nigga was like, "You fucking that whore ass bitch," and he laughed. Mm, how you feel about that? He's canceled. You laugh and some nigga call me a whore ass bitch. You're canceled. Don't. You're never getting no box another day in your life. Like, fuck out of here. He laughed. He canceled. He's not canceled. Cut no, out. I'm saying if it was a nigga I'm dating oh, wow. and a nigga calls me a whore ass bitch and this nigga laughs, you're done. Like, you laughed. All right, so in respect, right? And what? then you on live. You laughed. Like, you ain't even like, yo, chill with all that next. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't even. And even if you didn't process at first, I would have got back on live. Like, first of all, he called Shorty Ho. She's not a whore. Like, my nigga, you ain't even go back and clean it up. He came back and this is what he said. He came back and he was like, yo, I'm just about my family, y'all. I ain't with none of that corny shit y'all talking about, y'all. But I ain't with all that. I'm just about my family. We good. That's good. No, nigga, tell, tell them niggas I'm not a whore. Period. Tell them I'm not a whore. Hey. Tell them I'm not a whore. Hey, honestly? All right. What? You better clear it up. She's not a whore. What do y'all expect from us men? Enough, my nigga, to defend the bitch you're fucking the bare minimum. All right, so all right, maybe I'm, I might be stressed. Right, this because this goes into a bigger issue with me. You're right. He could have definitely defended her. He, he could have definitely defended her. But you don't well, got to do no whole quick spill. Just like yo, y'all niggas need to chill with the disrespect and right. don't talk about my lady. Period. Respect. And if you're not dating her in that way, where it's exclusive to call her your lady, like don't disrespect no female I'm dealing with. Period. Respect. Fucking them, 
talking to them, nothing, period. Don't disrespect none of them. I don't give a fuck if I'm talking to five. Don't disrespect none of them. You're right. So what I was going to say is, when I say what do y'all expect from us, right? If a nigga disrespects you, right? We both know it ain't true. It don't matter. We don't really got to speak on that. Like, we don't even got to. Yeah, maybe he laughed. That was a little bit extra. But this the shit going past money bag, yo, right? In real life, everyday life, but we walking down the street and nigga disrespects you. Because I'm the I'm, a, I'm the protector, right? I'm supposed to say something. I'm supposed to like kind of protect you, right? But how far do you expect me to go? Am I supposed to go far as like whooping the nigga ass? Because then we don't know what's going on out, out in this world. Okay, so again, I didn't say he had to be like, yo, bitch ass nigga, don't talk about my fucking bitch before I fucking get my gat right now. Brrr, that, that. I didn't say no, we passed that, start though. fucking no, wilding. Right. That's what I said. And I'm talking about anybody, like, and I'm not telling you to do that. Any If a nigga says something slick out of his mouth, like, I'm not telling you, go, yo, what the fuck you say, bro? Yo, what the fuck you say? Would you hit him with the penetra- penitentiary? Hit him. <laughs> I, I ain't telling him, give, I'm not telling you to give him penitentiary. All right. If you don't know what you're talking about, that was Tank Trainer in the corner. He was talking about hitting him in the side, but you're right. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to do that. Like, all I'm saying is definitely still show some sign of respect. Like, yo, my man, be respectful. It's a lady right here. Oh, my man, like, chill on it. Come on, son. I'm a man. Don't disrespect the lady I'm with. Or, come on, you ain't got to do that. Relax, y'all. Like, come on. Whatever. It could be the lightest form of protection, but you need to say something. Mm. Like, there's no way in hell, like, a, a girl can come up to you and be like, yo, you fucking dirty-ass boy, that did I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax, because I'm here. And when you do that, like, he don't got another female here who will beat your ass. Don't talk to him like that. Like, just at least let your presence be known. Like, yo, you can't talk to her like that because I am walking on her side. And if you're talking to her like that, you are disrespecting me because I am courting her to some degree. Of course. I mean, we already had like, that. We already had that experience. You don't have before, to go, so. yo. I'm about to shoot a nigga. We already had know, that experience no. before, so uh, you know what I'm saying. We, no, we definitely yeah. experienced something like <laughs> that similar. <laughs> um, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> Our favorite thing of the we were talking <laughs> about it all day. Shut the fuck up. So can we? Uh, uh, yeah, you try to skip past that real quick. We ain't gonna talk about that. We gonna talk. No worries. Ain't gonna no talk about that. You right? I got you, bro. I mean, I'm not no pussy though. Come on. No, nah, Jay's that. far from pussy. Right. I am not. But we ain't talking. Well, I don't even like talking about that. All right, no, so we done. We done talking. About so I seen this video on um on Twitter, right? And we definitely. What is this? We we went back and forth all this. So I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna see what y'all think. Let me Wait, see. What is this? Well, how do you skip there? We're not supposed to be there yet. Um, we didn't even finish talking about Lori Harvey. You just ran past the show. What about, wait, where's Lori Harvey? We, we still talking about Moneybag Yo, but we're going to go to Lori Harvey because apparently it's kind of like an Ari versus Lori thing. Is Ari a hoe? Is Lori a hoe? Who's nah, side you want? And said, man, neither one of them. Lori? Lori, she's, just, she's a savage. <laughs> she's a savage. Love, y'all lady, ladies love savage. Yo, ladies love Lori right now. Ladies is bigging her up. Yeah, she's a savage. So shout out to Lori Harvey. Okay, so I do not think anything of Lori, what Lori's doing what is I don't acceptable fuck with, at all. Oh, you don't? What? In hell no. Ari, look. What? Ari, I cannot say. You just say, said you love. Oh, no. It's the same what thing. Did I say? No, it's not the same thing, though. It's not. Yo, Lori has dated fathers, brothers, motherfucking best friends, motherfucking you know what I mean? Like, no, it's not the fucking same thing. Like, yo was really oh wild. Like, there's a picture with Diddy and Future together. Like, you're just out of pocket now. At this point, like, these people are too close for comfort. And she's just like, I don't give a fuck. Not to mention her daddy is Steve Harvey. And he be in contact with the same niggas. Like, where's your respect? Ain't none. Fuck. How'd I get in the crib? We had the balcony door open. It's 64 degrees here. But yeah, it's um, yeah, but nah, yeah, nah. so. I think she's definitely a savage. What, what I don't really fuck with is, my nigga 36? She like 22, 3, 23? Yeah. Like, I ain't. So at this point, if, I feel like anybody who deals with his future is just nasty. I mean, I just feel like, honestly, like. Just nasty. That's this cool. nigga has two open DNA cases right now on his ass that he's not claiming either baby, but he is surely the father of both. I ain't sure This about nigga that. has like seven. 10 kids. That's cool. Like, okay. That's fine. Shut you're wild. Future right the now. goat. What I'm saying future is. The, how few hoes? I know we can. Oh, I, I, I know we can. How the date. fuck is future the goat and you want to talk about Lori? She's a thought. I mean, it is what it is. What I'm saying is, I think, yo, I ain't know that we can be dating younger bitches like chicks. I'm sorry. We, younger chicks like that. What are you that. talking about? Jay Z was dating Beyonce. He was like 20 years older than her. Oh, that's a thing thing. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so, nasty, like, when nasty. I get like 40, 
What? You gonna find you a little 20 year old thing? That might be a little thing, you know what I'm saying? You might, cause you gonna be like 40 with me? You know, I heard that bitches love, love young niggas too. Oh, you like young niggas? No, I ain't never date no young niggas. So what made you say that was pointless of what no, you No, because you said, I'm just saying, bitches love young niggas too. You like young, you know, 40 year olds like young girls, older bitches so like cougars. So you want to get your young nigga? Cougars, you getting you a young girl? I, so it depends. If, so tip for tip, dep- if I get me a young girl, you gonna get you a young nigga, right? Well, I'm supposed to wait for you? No, we just like you're just. It's just well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Have no like, no like have your, be yourself. I oh like have a, have your own. I'm just curious, but you know what I'm saying. I'm being myself, but it all is. It all depends on me. Act accordingly, like so. If you got about to go get if you 40, we marry. You go get you a little young 20 year old thing. You gonna get you a young 20 year old thing? I'm not saying that, but you know you're what basically saying niggas saying love cougars. Oh, fuck That's it. what I'm your, saying. Do your thing. Uh, I didn't say that was me. I'm speaking for the people. I said niggas love cougars. All right. Is we still talking about Lori? Because you was like. He, no, all I was saying, I just thought we had to address it. That oh, yeah. if we were going to address Ari, because, you know, right now they neck and neck. And, you know, the battle of the fucking whoredom. That, 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 that ain't neck and neck. Because Lori. Ba- she, battle of whoredom. No, they not, they not neck and neck. Because. <laughs> Lori. Hori. <laughs> Lori with a L H L H O R I. <laughs> he called her Hori. Now Lori, Lori, just with an H. Lori, Hori. L H O R I. Lori. All right, yo, can we? All right. All right, boom. Come on. Can I play my video? To shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. He's been so pressed for this video, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I need y'all listen. I said, what do a woman need to do to keep her man? Right, and I said, I tell you top three. Then you got to tune in for the rest. You know what I mean? Um, women don't know how to shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? When I say shut the fuck up, I really mean it verbatim, exactly how I'm saying it. Shut the fuck up. Like, we just, and I'm saying we, because me personally, I like to date a certain type of caliber of man. You know what I'm saying? And when you dating that type of caliber of man, he don't want to hear all of that. Especially when he paying the bills and he taking care of you and he keeping you up to no, how you want. And what I'm saying, and I'm not talking. I'm not. Let me finish. And I'm not talking about because you're an invalid because you can't pay your own bills because I cut maintenance already. He mm. didn't get me like this. He didn't put me in position. I was already bossed up. You know what I'm saying? What I'm talking about, he's doing his duties as a man. Meaning, I don't gotta ask him to do the things that he's supposed to do. I don't gotta tell my need. He's already doing it. Just being a man. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking a trick. I'm not talking about no goofy shit. I'm talking about a nigga saying, I like you. I'm pursuing you. And because I got it, I wanna make sure you good too. Because what kind of man would I be to be around you to see you struggle? Mm-hmm. Not that you're struggling, mm-hmm. but I can help you get it easier. Mm-hmm. That's the type of men I'm used to. And that's right. the type of men I attract. So when you dating that type of man, you got to know when to be quiet. Sometimes you got to pick and choose your battles. You understand what I'm saying? I Sometimes I want to be that independent. I, I know. I, 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 I. No, I talk to a broke nigga like that. You don't talk to a nigga that can change your life tomorrow oh, like that. Shut the fuck up. That is true. I agree with that. Because if you knew everything, you wouldn't be in that's my face. True. That's true. So what's the second thing? You. Don't talk for me. Talk for you. So I show Shawty this shit. Talk for you, yo. What do you? Don't tell my pa- I'm going to tell them how I feel about it. Talk for you. I'm talking for me. But okay. you won't let me. Just don't talk about me. Talk I can talk you. about you for me because that's my experience. That's but my talk, experience. But how do you feel about the video? And I'll say how I feel about the video. That's that's all we got to do. Like, you don't have to talk for me because then I'm going to have to go re-say what I'm trying to you say. You don't have to. You can just, just let me tell my story. You tell your own story. say how you feel about the so, video, So, I'm going to tell you how I told, I showed Shadi this, 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 this video, right? And it just went left. Like, so I feel like women do need to just shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> And not really just like shut the fuck up, <laughs> like <laughs> not like shut the fuck up all the time. Because I definitely respect my woman's opinion. And before I make any decision, I always go to her first. However, I feel like the respect isn't reciprocated because she don't understand how much I value her opinion. With that being said, it's like when I say things, respect me enough to let it rock. Sometimes, like just let me be a man. I don't need you to always. Come back, da 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 da. Like, yo, like, if you know I love you, and if you know I'm always gonna have your back, you don't always have to snap. You don't always have to, like, just not even, I'm not even saying that you don't have to give me your opinion, because that's fine. It's just allow me to have the last word, allow me to, 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 to have some say. That's, that's what I, that's what I really think. If I'm being a good man to you, right, I should be able to 
move in a different way. Like I'm not a, a ain't shit nigga. Like I'm not one of these niggas out here cheating on my girl, just violating you, put my hands on you. I'm not. Th- I'm not that ain't shit nigga. So the fact that I'm not that, I feel like I, I deserve a different type of level of respect than anybody that you ever dealt with. So if like if we're dealing with each other and I'm respecting you, I'm giving you everything that you ask for, everything you need in your relationship. If I'm saying some things, you're like, you know what, baby, you're right. Even if you don't agree with it, like we type of friends, like, okay, cool. You said it ain't nothing. I respect that. I'm a, I don't like it, but I'm going to take that on a 10 because I respect you that much. What? Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So first of all, if you're going to ask me how I feel about the video, first of all, this is what I will say, right? The first question that came in was, how do you keep a man? So one flag on a play for there, right, right there, because one... We're always asking, how do we keep a man? First of all, I don't keep any man. Like, it's either aligned with me or it's not for me, period. Like, it's no keep a man of a man. There's no rules of how to keep, get, get a man to stay. There's no rules and regulations to that. And I'm not going to keep allowing people to come along and say things like, how do you keep a man? These are the ways. No, the fuck it's not. Stop telling girls they need to figure out ways to keep a man. Because I tell you one thing, there's no nigga in hell and saying, how do you keep your fucking woman? Why not? None. Why? Where are they? We talk about it all the time. Wait, how to keep a woman? Yeah. Where? We we have these conversations. Sh- show me. Who's I mean, we? I, I probably can't pull up on a video, but we have these we, conversations. Who's we? I mean, honestly. Who's uh, we? Black men, period. Men, period. Okay, but w- w- what's not happening is you're not exploiting it so that we all know. We're not talking about it as a collective community. I mean, if we, y'all are talking amongst your, your inner circles and your group chats, y'all not giving it to the community. So we do not know that true. you're so talking can, about that at all. That's we, never a topic of how men are supposed to, you know, provide or be emotionally what? be emotional excuse this. me be emotionally available for females exactly right. we don't like talk there's a there's a range of things how, y'all don't talk about but we talk when you say how to keep a woman that's a range of things as well okay you we talk about that we might so, not so y'all on. so y'all have something that says like so y'all be talking about like so how you keep your woman yo or yo th- these are ways to keep a woman yo. yes it's a, like where i've never a, seen it baby, i'm sorry i've unwritten. never Brittany, you ever seen that before it's unwritten law yeah you, you've seen that before yeah. ways of how to keep a woman yeah, not verbatim that that word not that word verbatim but again Yes, it's it's, it's never unwritten. seen it. Shadi, it's unwritten laws that but men, are supposed, be, men are supposed to be the protector. Men are supposed to be the that's provider. That's not the only way to keep a woman, I'm though. That's the problem. It. the The problem is that that's never been tweaked. It's always this kingdom throne way of looking at it. It's never like this internally looked at. Like you know, damn, we have to be emotionally available for that's Mima, what, again, females. That's but that is that a we way didn't that's speak a, about, but, but we do that, speak about okay, other things. But when you don't think about that and God never spoke about that, and that's a huge part of women, we have a problem. So, so like, like I said, again, like I said, I'm the, not done talking. Let me, let me, let me talk. Right, let me right, talk. Right, let me break down right, what right. I was saying. Right. So my biggest thing is, first of all, even concluding of how to keep a man. Cause again, I don't need to keep a man. A man is either aligned with me or he's not for me. Period. Right. Per, per, Se- per, secondly, per. secondly, I don't like the way she came in on the video. I date a certain caliber of man. To me, she only de- designated this conversation to her idea of bosses and what a man looks like. Later in the video, she started talking about and that when somebody was interjecting, she was like, no, I'm not just talking about this. I'm talking about in ways of such and such this. But most of her collective thoughts were around money or broke. And that's what I didn't like. And I'm going to tell you why. Don't get ready to cut me off, right? So this is my thing. When you are thinking of a man, right, the minute that you separate them off is you already signicating to women that there's a lesser version of man that you don't need to respect. So to me, to me, right, there's some women who think, I don't give a fuck if a nigga work at Pizza Hut, Starbucks, as long as he's providing for his family, as long as he's doing everything he's supposed to do in this household, he's supposed to be respected as a way. There's some women who think, I only date a boss nigga with money, whether it's drug dealer, scammer, as long as he got money and could collectively support and provide the things that I feel like is a need and a necessity, not guarantee what really is a need and necessity. Those are the only ones who deserve my respect in my honor, right? Mm-hmm. Because there that there's that split off, you really do have to be very careful how you choose to relay this message because now you have this group of women who only deal with their idea of bosses, of scammers, drug dealers, niggas with money rappers, and the, and those are the only one who gets re, gets respect out of them because they're doing things that a man who works at Pizza Hut can't. 
when whole time they all if they're providing or doing the right things for you or emotionally supportive for you or doing what they need to do, they deserve that respect in general. So that's my problem with this conversation. Another thing is I can tell she's single and I'm gonna tell you how I can tell she's single because see, if I have a man and I'm having this conversation, I'm gonna say, there, I, I would have the same conversation. I'm, I say, if, if to redo this conversation, I would say, you know, sometimes ladies need to shut the fuck up. Like my man is supportive, da 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 da. My man, my man, and that's my other problem. It's always a lot of ladies who don't have or can keep a man that's always giving these advice, and I also have a problem with that. But we're not going to talk about that. So to collectively go into this as a whole, this is what I will say. So I looked up the definition of submissive the other day. I did not fucking like it, and I'm gonna tell you what the word submissive actually means hold on let me get it up here because i definitely pull it up and i definitely screenshotted it okay <laughs> submissive ready to conform to the authority or will of others meekly obedient obedient a submissive almost sheep-like person first of all our whole, my whole life right when i hear the word submissive it's also it's always used in the context of how do you submiss to a man how do you be submissive to a man it's never in any other content so that's why I had to look up the ideal de definition of it because it was annoying me because it was always I see men always typing this thing like you need to be submissive you need to be submissive you need to be submissive to your man to your man to your man first of all I do not think that women need to be sheep like minded and I do not think that men are authorities such as police officers or firefighters where that I have to bow down or meek in a meek manner to be obedient because they're not God what I will say is we all need to continually practice respect to respect one another regardless. Do I think that that comes on both ways? Yes, I do. Because I think a lot of men think they do more than they're doing. They think because they can have money or they provide a certain standard of something for you and they're still missing things that's not filling your void that you're still supposed to be submissive. So if you are providing, right, but you're completely emotionally available, you're not completing me. You're not completing me and you're not helping me because yeah, I might need a hand. I might not need you to, to tell you to make sure I'm good, make sure I eat, make sure the tires is changed, make sure you, we, we make sure rent is good, make sure you know we're elevating in a way of standard and your whole idea of life is work and elevating, but you're completely emotional available. So when I come to you to tell you how I feel, you're not listening. You don't understand how I feel. You don't process my emotions. You don't do these things and all these things. And then think that I'm supposed to equally just, again, be submissive. I have a problem with that. I think, again, everybody needs to practice respect. Respect is a minimum on both parties. You need to respect your partner period it's not about if they got this it's not about if they would even when she was like that's how you treat broke niggas what even broke niggas deserve respect the janitor in my building research deserves respect that's not the idea that i'm going to practice to my daughter you respect everybody we always have to continuously respect people and when people are not meeting your needs or the things that you feel like you need you are absolutely okay to voice that yes i do agree pick your battles but i'm not going to ever sit there and tell the people when you feel something be quiet all the time because that's how you know you don't need to bug them or bother them because the person who's aligned with you no matter how you're feeling is going to address and tend to you regardless it does not matter if they're broke they're rich they don't have time you don't need this they don't need to hear this right now don't keep teaching girls to fucking be quiet and stop teaching them to always be submissive and sheep like minded that's not the right measure to teach anyone I don't agree with that um I feel like it's kind of hard to have this conversation, but again, because again, if I say, you know, I bet I respect it, don't even have nothing to say. It's gonna be like I don't like your uh, your attitude, I don't like your, your your disposition. But then if I be like, if I go into why I don't agree with it, I don't like your disposition. It's really a, it's no win. So what I will say is, it's more than one definition of it. So just because you found that one definition, don't mean that it's always like that. I found another definition that says something totally different. It was something similar, but it was totally different. When we're talking about women and men, if you have a man, I'm not talking about. All these other things you you mentioned about uh men working at um dominoes and i'm only I'm, I'm literally only having this conversation to try to like help the men but i really don't even care like you said something about men working at dominoes i'm not talking about if she meant rich or poor i ain't talking about that i'm talking about the level of respect period like you say respect and i'm talking about respect as a man if somebody that's doing right by you 
men, we want to be respected. And the part of being respected as men is you taking our word. So we're saying something, you respect it enough to just leave it alone. Like if I say there's nothing going on, you respect my word and be like, you know what? He's a man of his word, so there's nothing going on. So I don't need to go, I don't need to continue to buck him. I don't need to continue to tell him I don't like it. I don't need to continue to tell him that his friend is doing something. I don't need to do that because I respect my man enough to understand that no matter what it looks like, it ain't that because that's what my, 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 what my man said. So you talk about... um. You talking about respect, and you, you thought that she was saying different levels of, of men. And I, I started to write it down, but I just didn't even care that much. I said, you was like, as long as he. You said, as long as he. So we ain't talking about the men that's not. So if he's, pro, if he's doing whatever that you require, you can then do something for him that he's re requiring. So if he's, I don't care if, it's, if, if he's passionate if, he, if, he, if he's, uh, he's strong-willed, I don't care if he has a million dollars, he has, if he's doing something for you that you require, you can do the same for him. And a lot of times, women, they get so lost in their emotions that they can't do something that a man requires because they are, they just, they're too woman enough, honestly. It's like, yo, nah, I'm my own person. I can say what the fuck I want, when the fuck I want, how the fuck I want, when that's just not true. It, it, just, it is what it is. And it's like, I, I'm, I'm honestly over the conversation because it's just like, all right, like if that's what you think, it's fair. And when you say that if you, if a man is aligned with you, it's always going. No, that's not true. Like just because we align, don't mean I can't disagree with you. Just like you can't disagree with me. Just because we align, don't mean uh, it's things that you're not going to like. And if it, and and honestly, like just like you, uh, I don't want to say parent because I don't want to get a ticket wrong. But just like you have respect for your friends and some things you might not agree with with your friends, and you be like, you know what, yo, cool, I respect that. It's cool. Like you might not agree with it, you just leave it alone. It's the same thing with a relationship, but in relationships, it's not that. Because we're so close, it's like you, you feel like you gotta make your presence known. And that's just like, in our world, just from my experience, like, yeah, we equal, but it's things that I don't do to you because you're a woman and out of respect. And I feel like in this world, in this new day and age, that's getting twisted. Like, yeah, everybody is saying we, we equal. Girls can fuck whoever they want, just like niggas can fuck whoever they want. Cool, whatever. But now it's like, women can do everything that a man can do. But what we're not doing is like, you're not giving us that same respect. Cause we, it's things that men do, not every man, it's things that men do or don't do for women because they're women. But I ain't, I don't see it too much often that a lot with a lot of women that they're not doing because we're men. Like y'all not just giving us that respect because we're men. Like, you know what? I ain't gonna challenge my man because one, one of the things that we hold near and dear to our heart is our word. That's, we, that's something that we learned since a youngin. Your word is your bond. The only thing you come in here, it may be you. Like you come here with your words, you're gonna die with your word. That's the only thing that you come in here with, with and that's the only thing you're gonna leave with. So if I tell you something, just like that old example, yo, I know it look like that, babe. It ain't gonna be that. And even if it looked like that, just trust me enough to do that. So if I'm doing everything to be a good man to you and I tell you that and you can't, and you can't trust that, that means you can't respect me. That's it. It's like, that's why I, when I look at it and say women need to shut the fuck up, it ain't, I'm not, I would never tell you shut the fuck up, one, but it's like, yo, I don't have to always bicker back and forth. If I say something, let it rock. That's just what I got to say. I mean, that's, that's really it. I ain't going to tell you what you say. You think about it how you think about it. I think about it how I think about it. And I mean, what? <laughs> No, I'm just listening. You got anything else to say? I mean, uh, are you, you, yeah, look no, like, you was, sound like you ended the conversation. No, no, I mean, I mean not. I'm saying that was it. Because you said your piece and I said my piece. I mean, I, I could still say more, but. I mean, go ahead. Know, say whatever you want. You know, I, th I think another part of it, too, is it just has a lot to do with, you know, again, what people deem as disrespect. Because there's some people who communicate the same way in terms of words and passionate words. And, and there's some people who take passionate words or how you respond disrespectful or respectful. Some people communicate the same exact way and don't find it disrespectful or respectful. I think that sometimes we have to come to terms with what is disrespect and what is respect. Because I think a lot of people, just because you don't like it and somebody doesn't does it, it's like you're disrespectful. But sometimes it's like, that's disrespectful to you, but that's not disrespectful to like every lady or every man. Like, Thanks. you know, there's a, there's a line of respect that we just have to come to terms with what exactly. Now, when you have a boundary and something you don't like and somebody continuously disrespecting it or, or, or not continuously know you don't like it and keep doing it, you know, it can either be disrespect or it could just mean that 
they not can't they, they not for you they not you know changing that behavior because that's just how they are and they're not willing to change it for you and it doesn't mean they're disrespectful or you're any less respected it just means that there's a communication barrier there in general my biggest thing of why i even brought it to the money thing is because that's the conversation of how the conversation even started if the conversation didn't start on that and we just talked about how you should how you should respect one another how you should respect the man how you should respect the lady and it did not go into terms of what's rich and what's broke or what you can do for you or what you can't because i don't think it's what anybody does for you excuse me i don't think it's for what for anybody can do for you i think it's just respect overall even if a person cannot do absolutely nothing for you because just because there's times where people love people who can't do anything for them but it doesn't mean they can't they don't need to respect them the same like they might not have a job right now like and you love them and y'all together and they lost their job and they can't provide for you do nothing for you at all does that mean that they get broke nigga behavior Babe, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not is, challenging you. I'm talking to the people. Babe, so you're talking, God damn. But I was, but I didn't stop you when well, you were talking. And at I didn't all. stop you, but now we all can right, talk to but, each other. But who? You just decided that. You didn't ask me like, you know, can we talk to you? Or are you just you trying to it, make babe. a point? You, you didn't. No, I'm not you trying didn't to make a point. I'm just saying that, that. All right, but I was just talking like we what? were just talking. What? 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 I don't even want to talk anymore. I'm just saying like we're talking to each other. I'll let you get your point. I got my point. Now we can talk together. Like you that's your see. Again, we talk about respect, right? That you decided that on your own. We just had it's a it one podcast. way. You just decided that. But when I let you talk, you let me talk. I was still talking. You still was cutting me off like, all right, cool. But don't say like, no, this is how we're going to do it. And you didn't even say you want to do it like this. Like, th respect. All right, but I apologize. That's I'm all sorry. I'm going to say. I love you. That let was Gemini Scorpio hmm. Podcast, 009. Y'all have it. Shade. There we go. It's a wrap. We out. <laughs>